last ETF PRISM report, we spoke about the DOL fiduciary rule. And with the post-election environment, there's been a lot of talk that that may be repealed or pulled back. I don't think it's likely because the rule is about being better to the world. It's about being more conscious to uh, investors, especially in their retirement accounts. And I think the world is moving that way. In fact, one of the key tenants of the, the statement made in October of 2015 that brought about this DOL concept was that ESG, environmental, social, and governance investing, can be a reason to uh, evaluate an investment. And I think that's the way the world is going. So today I thought I would talk about ETFs in the ESG space. And this isn't a new concept to us. We've talked about it before. Uh, in our report on the smart cost of an ETF, we talked about BUSE from Vidant and how it uses a governance screen to protect the portfolio. We also spoke in our uh, ETF PRISM report about minimum volatility, uh, KNOW, which has a uh, governance or accounting screen to try and avoid companies that could be the next Wells Fargo or Volkswagen. So today I want to talk about two of my favorite ideas, one being the ESG concept behind investing, the other being characteristic-based beta, or what I like to call ethos beta. And these are characteristics that you can hone in on in a passive way through an index that are traditionally the characteristics that active managers look for. So things like buybacks or spinoffs or insider buying or um, hedge fund holdings. These are all things that active managers look for to create alpha. And yet today we can get them in characteristic based indexes. So the example I'd like to talk about today is Karma from uh, Global X Funds and is the brainchild of Considity, which is an index company working on the conscious capital mo capitalism movement, and my friend Kyle Chudum, who saw the way to get this characteristic into an investable vehicle. So what is the characteristic? Well, it's quite simple. It's not, let's figure out the E, S, and G for each one of these companies. It's the thesis that good companies are good for investing. And the way they evaluate a good company is they look at the multi-stakeholder approach. The concept is that if you're good to your shareholders, as well as your supply chain, as well as the community, you can create a portfolio of companies that should do better. I like this better than some of the other, call it 27 ESG ETFs out there that tend to be tilts or simply exclusionary. And it's my belief that honing in on this characteristic of being a good company, this ethos, can create a great investment. Thank you.